the catastrophic glacial lake outburst in Sikkim on 4th October reminded the country of the deadly flood that hit Kedarnath Valley in 2013. Then it was the Chorabari Glacial Lake, this time it's the Lona. Both the natural disasters were triggered by glacial lake outburst, which unleashed flash floods. They claimed lives and wreaked havoc up to tens of kilometers downstream. Glacial lake outburst floods occur when a glacial lake overflows and bursts. Heavy rainfall triggered the lake outburst in Sikkim and Kedarnath Valley. But such events are becoming more frequent as climate change has accelerated melting of glaciers. Rising global temperatures caused by climate change are leading to the retreat and loss of mass in glaciers worldwide. The melted water collects in low areas near the glacier's end, creating glacial lakes. As these lakes expand, the pressure on natural barriers such as moraines or ice dams intensifies, making them vulnerable to collapse. Since 2009, 25 glacial lakes and water bodies in the Himalayas have experienced an increase in their water surface areas. They pose a threat to seven Indian states and union territories, six of which are situated in the Himalayan region. The onset and quick discharge of glacial lake outburst floods often leaves inadequate time for warning and actions, especially for populations residing within 10 to 15 kilometers of the source lake. In the past two decades, Sikkim also has repeated warnings from government agencies and local bodies like the affected citizens of Tista about the looming threat of glacial lake outburst floods. Outburst of the South Lonark Lake was a natural consequence. The National Disaster Management Authority's guideline for managing glacial lake outbursts include identifying risky lake through field observations, remote monitoring from space and reducing the water volume with controlled breaching, pumping, etc. The NDMA also proposes enhancing early warning systems and training local manpower for emergencies. While the government should exercise caution when constructing mega-infrastructure in ecologically sensitive zones, regular monitoring of glacial lakes and the establishment of a national data center for this purpose can help mitigate such disasters in the times to come. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's moving from employee to employer. Business Standard.